What's up, everyone? If you're new to this channel, my name is Darcy, and you're watching Darcyzzle Offshore. And in today's video, we went inshore saltwater fishing, and in this video, I give you detailed instructions on how to catch fish, whether it's rigging your baits, fishing structure, working the current, and all that great stuff. We ended up catching big snooks, jacks, and at the end of the day, my brother being a Floridian, ended up catching his first bass ever. What is going on, Darcinators? Good morning. It's early morning today. We got up early trying to go fishing this morning inshore, and unfortunately, there's a lot of rain on the radar this morning. So my brother and I, Connor, we are fishing in the backyard, and I just hooked this gorgeous bass. That's probably a solid two and a half pounder, but you can see I've got the gambler lure attached right there. Awesome. I love using the gambler easy swim baits, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and release him and get this hook out. All right, going to get this gambler lure out. And this one is a gold rush color, I believe. Really cool color. Awesome fish. Score. Now we got to get my brother Connor a bass. He has never caught a bass before. Crazy to believe. There he goes. All right. So we're just going to fish a little bit longer, I guess, in the backyard because you can see if you, I don't know, we got a dark clouds over here and it's just not a good day to go inshore fishing on our flats boat. So we kind of just made the right call, the right decision and decided to stay home right now. But we might go in the afternoon. It might get nicer out. So in the meantime, we're just fishing. Let's see if we can get another fish. All right, we're going fishing. Of course, what, babe? The, the red, your bubble lay pliers? Yeah. All right, so we're going fishing. Of course, it didn't rain like it was supposed to. <laughs> but, you know, we got to be careful with the camera equipment. And uh, it's a west wind, just so you guys know what we're doing. It's a west wind. So we're not going to go offshore. We hate to fish on west winds offshore. And so we're going to be inshore. And it's the mullet run, so it's a great time to be inshore. We made it out. Hopefully we made the right decision. We'll find out, though. Yeah, I usually like to go fish in the morning, but it's overcast. And, you know, we get out here when we get out here. Yeah. And so we're going to get some mullet right now, hopefully. They're popping all over here. And then we're going to hit a couple spots. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to do about a four-hour trip today and, and see how it goes. Yep. We're going to go uh, hit the Lantana Bridge area up north a little bit. We're going to go over to the Professor D-Bag's house, who we know oh, from the other yes. video. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new name on the show, Professor yeah. D-Bag. There we go. And, um... Yeah, and I just... And it's just, wow, there's a ton of mullet over here. We're going to load up right now. But um, it's just also good to get out of the house. And, you know, after losing our poor, our poor little puppy, I think it's time to get our mind off of it and uh, get out of the house, go fishing. And, you know, fishing is always healthy and a good thing to do and get outdoors and follow your dream. Yeah, I, I've said, you know, I'm sure Sadie wants us to fish. Uh, you know, and like we always say right here, fish, dream, inspire. And so today... Uh, we're living our dream out here and Sadie's dream and hopefully we're going to inspire you guys to do the same and, and teach you a couple things along the way. Oh. I think I got him in my next one. Got some. I'll take it. We got little snappers. Look at that. Other side, baby. Other side. Look at the snappers. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Open it up. Arrived at our first fishing spot. And we are fishing a bridge. The current's moving real good. You can see I've got my finger mullet right here. And just as we were coming up to this bridge, I saw a mullet going crazy, getting exploded on, I'm sure, by big snook and jacks. But what I'm doing is the current's going that way, underneath the bridge. So I'm going to work the bait and throw it up against that wall and let them drift, hopefully along the edge of the wall, through the bridge. And that's where the big snook hang out and ambush them on that corner. So we're going to see what happens here. Boom. It's a nice overcast day, so this is, should be good conditions to catch fish in the middle of the day like this. But I just got a brand new bait put on, and I add just a little bit of weight to this just to get them down a little deeper where those fish are. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and cast them out. And I also wanted to give you a tip, too, when you're working the current like that. You want to free spool your line. Just let that mullet do its thing. Let it swim along the wall there. Sometimes they're, they're a little finicky, and they won't swim along the wall, in which case you just kind of got to recast them out there until you and get them to swim on the wall but I'm just free lining and letting the line go out with the current and um, when the line starts shooting out of here I'm just gonna close the bale and lock it up and fish on. Getting little thumps. Eat them. It's a big pack of mullet just blew up in there right on the corner. Oh nice that was a snook. His tail just like spl splattered the whole wall over there. Another snook. 
Oh, that wasn't good. As you can see, this is how I'm hooking this mullet, just right through their bottom lip up to the top. Just like that. Catch me a fish. Is that my bait? Oh, oh, oh. I've got a fish on. I didn't even know. <laughs> Watch out. I think I just crossed your line. It might be, it might be tangled now. Sorry. Beautiful. Oh, we got a mess. Oh, and we got a mess, guys. Right. Woohoo! Did it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, he definitely blew up on my bait. I honestly thought it was somebody else's bait. I didn't. I mean, there's so much live mullet around these days. So um, he was swimming back with the current. <laughs> sure enough, I went to set uh, to close a bail, and I realized I had a fish on. That's really funny. All right, I'm gonna get him in the net now. We got a big mess. Woohoo! We got my fish! Yay! Awesome! Cute little snooky for me. Sweet. On a finger mullet. Check out my snook. And you can see the circle hook in the corner of the mouth there, and we just matched the circle hook to the size of the bait, guys. So that is a sweet snook. You want a picture? Okay. All right, it's not the biggest snook in the world, guys. We're going to go ahead and just release them now. We got to get back to fishing. We're wasting time, wasting time. We got to get our lines untangled and everything else. So I'm going to just put this fish back in the water. And I'm just going to try to keep him into the current because the current's going through the bridge there. So I'm going to keep his head into the current like this. And when you release fish, you always want to make sure his mouth is all the way underwater, just like this guy is. And I'm kind of just going to give him time and just let him sit there. I'm going to hold on to his thumb there and let him recover. And he should be fine in a second here. And he just bit down real good on my thumb. I'm just going to go ahead and turn him into the current and let him go. Bye, buddy. There he goes. Awesome. All right, now back to fishing. Oh my gosh, do I have another fish? Yes, I do. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, I got the... Oh, it was so cute. That was about a six-inch snook, the smallest snook I have ever caught. But good thing he came off the hook. I didn't want to catch that little guy. Aw, I think it was adorable. A little tackle time. I know we, uh, we do a lot of snook fishing and sometimes we neglect to tell you guys what we're using. Uh, the boat is a 17 foot low. It's our, it's our sizzle sea deck inshore boat. Uh, you can see it's covered with sea deck. And uh, so that's the boat, okay? Great little boat. But well, we are looking for another one. Uh, anyway, so the rod and reel, this is a Shimano uh, Saragoza, that, that's how you pronounce it. It's a uh, 6,000, which is a little bit bigger than you need for snook but it's really the same guts as the 4500 and some of the smaller reels, uh, or the 4000 or the 5000, whatever they go by. Uh, just has a bigger spool, and so sometimes uh, Darcy does all the fishing, and if she hits a tarpon or something, or a big snook, she's gonna need that line capacity. So we got her a 6000, and then uh, this is a Shimano uh, Travala, just a snook rod, and you know, and guys, rods, you know, it's personal preference, um, and that's a pretty standard, uh, you know, snook rod. Uh, we also use a lot of tsunami rods, all right? And this is uh, spooled with tough line, 20 pound braid. Sometimes we use 30 pound, no big difference. And then we have a Tsunami fluorocarbon leader on here. We usually start with 20 or 30 pounds when we're snook fishing, we're trying to get that bite. If we're around docks or rocks or offshore or something bigger, then you know, then you can go to 40, 60. And we don't go to 80 too much, but I know guys do or at the pier and stuff, all right? And then we're using a Mustad uh, circle hook, and again, that same thing, that goes with the size of your bait. Uh, we're using a 3-0 today, or a 3 ot because uh, we're using small finger mullets, but again, the size of the hook, just because I'm using that hook today, that don't mean for you to use that hook, uh, you're going to use it depending on how big your bait is. And uh, that's the tackle time, very simple, and the snook rod, your standard snook rod, you can use for all kinds of inshore fish, almost every inshore fish, uh, you know, medium to small tarpon, redfish, of course, and, and uh, trout and, uh, and all the jacks in the world. You can catch a monster jack on this, you know, no problem. Little sharks, of course, Darcy. And uh, so that's the tackle time, and hopefully Darcy will catch in the fish for us right here. All right, guys, we just came into another location, decided to move on from that area with a little snook over there. Just decided to switch it up in the current. We got to move with the current. So the current was slowing down over there. And now we're in an area where there's a lot more current. And I just had a mullet out the back of the boat and we're kind of casting around in this area, right? Oh, look at all the fish. Wow. 
there's a ton of mullet getting chased right now. And I just had a mullet right out the back of the boat. And sure enough, I just got a nice Jack Creval. He just inhaled that thing back there. Nice. All right, let me get in the net. Woo! He doesn't want to be landed. <laughs> nice. We got another fish. Awesome. And the circle hook did his job, right? In the corner, or did he inhale it? No, pretty much, look. Nice. Circle hook in the corner. Perfect. And that's always a good thing to do. Have a bait out the back while you're casting around and trying to catch it and sight cast into fish. So, just got a nice, solid little Jack Cravel. Gonna throw him back. <laughs> well, he's gonna bite you. There he goes. All right, and the bait out the back just had a little tiny weight on it. That's a quarter ounce. It's tiny. And then I've just got it about two feet up from the hook with a snell knot. So I'm going to send it out another bait, see what happens. Good job, Connor. Whoa, the hook is flying all over. Hold uh, on. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> okay, look at this, guys. We just got back home from fishing in shore. And I found my brother fishing outside mm -hmm. in the backyard again because I caught a fish this morning. Brock Connor has never caught a bass. What do you think about your first bass? Awesome fish. I like it. Did We're going to keep good? it. Oh, yeah. And he caught it on a gambler lure. Actually, the bass threw it off, so I don't have it right now. But we're going to get a picture real quick with Connor's fish and release it. All right, Connor's going to release his first bass ever. He's a Floridian, born and raised down here. He's never caught a bass, but he finally checked it off his bucket list. You can just go ahead and pop the thing first. Perfect. Good job. He's gone. Here's bone. All right, awesome. I think it was an epic day. I caught a bass. Connor caught his first bass ever. We got a lot of fish in shore, and we're going to be back at it again tomorrow. So you guys need to stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can receive updates about our videos. And um, if you're interested in what we use today, I'll link down the tackle in, down in the description below. Check it out. Also, I have fish hook and anchor bracelets. I have a sale currently going on on these. I have child sizes and adult sizes. Check them out. Link down in the description below. These are lucky fishing bracelets. Connor wasn't wearing his lucky fishing bracelet this morning. No, I am. He didn't catch a fish. I didn't. And he wore it and came outside and caught a fish. So it's official, they're lucky. All right, guys, until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.